In this video, you'll learn how to load your own parcel and zoning district information through the Data Manager. The layers and tables you'll see are specific to the Melbourne instance, but you can apply the same workflows to load your own parcel and zoning information. In the overview, click Manage to open the Data Manager. Click Layers and select Parcels from the drop-down list. Click Add. In ArcGIS Online, search for your parcels. I'll set the search to my organisation and type in parcels underscore Melbourne. Select the feature layer and click OK. In the field matching dialog, there are no required fields. Click OK to load the parcels. Next we'll add zoning types and zoning polygons. Let's start with types. From the types drop down menu, select zoning types. Here you see a list of zoning types from Melbourne. Let's walk through the steps to add zoning types from a spreadsheet. Click Add. You can choose from a single item, from a spreadsheet, from a feature table, or from feature layer symbology. The latter provides a simple way to import your zoning data. When you import your zoning types from a feature layer, a list of unique zoning types including name, description, and color are created. In this case, choose from Spreadsheet. There's a template you can download to populate your zoning information. Once the fields are populated, click Choose File and navigate to the Zoning Types Excel sheet and click Open. In the Field Matching dialog, Label, Description and Join ID are required fields that you'll need to match. Colour, Maximum Coverage, Maximum FAR and maximum height will automatically be matched if you've used the template. If you've got information for the remaining fields, you can match them here. And again, depending on your project, you can set the units to metric or US standard. I'll click cancel because this information has already been loaded. When you're loading your own information, click OK to see the list populated. Next, we're loading the zoning polygons. Under Layers, click Zoning, then click Add. The Melbourne zoning layer has been shared with my organisation. I'll type in Zoning underscore Melbourne. Press Enter, select the feature layer and click OK. In the Field Matching dialog, under Fields in Source, click the drop down arrow and change both of them to Custom ID. The matching fields for zoning type and custom ID depend on the data that are added. You should select the field where the values can be joined with what has been added as a join ID in zoning types. Click OK to validate the features. Now your zoning and parcel layers will be able to be viewed and edited when you're creating plans. In this tutorial, we saw how to add parcels, zoning types, and zoning boundaries to ArcGIS Urban.